Viewers, no further ado, it is time once again to discuss wrestling news and other wrestling topics I love to share with you. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this discussion. Here goes nothing. Now, everyone knows that WrestleMania season will be here before you know it, but before we get to WrestleMania, we have to get to the Royal Rumble, the very first pay-per-view to kick off the brand new year. I attended my only Royal Rumble in Orlando, Florida with my dad. We had a great time and that is the year that Triple H won it because a lot of key guys was injured so he was, a, was the backup plan. So the rest is history and I saw AJ Styles debuted. Now, if you watch or listen to my other ones in the past, when I did my Royal Rumble reaction live, I thought it was The Undertaker with the new music. So once again, I apologize. But I'm so glad AJ Styles debuted at the Rumble that year. I was very excited. Okay, moving on. Speaking of the Royal Rumble, and who is Brock Lesnar's opponent? At the time, it was going to be Finn Balor, but now I'm hearing rumors, it's just rumors, that he might have a new opponent. Didn't I just hear it before? A post that happened at the Savasaries, now those plans are definitely are changing. It's going to be champion versus champion for the Raw brand versus the SmackDown Live brand. So I don't know why they changed it. It's it's whatever, whatever, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, the reason they're going to change their plans, because he lost the Kane this past Monday Night Raw. I don't know why um, Finn Bella lost the Kane. It's baffled me, you know? The article will explain it, you know? I I can't figure it out, you know? It's, it's kind of stupid how they do backstage stuff. You know, very dumb, you know, on these performers, you know. And if you're wondering when is the Royal Rumble, it will take place January 20th, 2018 in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. That is the same road from WrestleMania 30. And it will be the same road for uh, next year in 2018 for from um, Philly. WrestleMania 34 in New Orleans, same freaking road, but I don't know where it's going to take place in the fast lanes or crap lanes, whatever, but it probably won't be a good card, but stay positive, my viewers, stay positive, so I guess WWE right now is not going to have this match, Brock Lesnar versus Finn Balor at the Royal Rumble for the Universal Championship, what the hell are you doing, McMahon, you dummy, oh my gosh. When is Finn Balor going to get a shot again, you know, against the champion, Brock Lesnar or whatever the champion, the Universal Champion. Most likely, Brock Lesnar is going to hold a belt all into Mania, or maybe it will be a huge shock in value that he's going to drop it at the Royal Rumble. I don't think he's going to lose it before then, but that is stupid of the WWE, you know. From my point of view, my viewers, I know probably you're going to hate this with the passion. Lesnar should have, he actually had a lot of opportunities to drop it. But apparently McMahon says, let Lesnar keep it a little longer, you know. When my friend named Lucas Starr says he's the longest champion. You know why he's the longest champion? He hardly defends it, you know. You know, he, he defends it, here's and there, and he's a freaking part-timer. For crying out loud. Thanks for the update, uh, Lucas Star. I know it's not that he's still the longest champion right now until he drops it. Man, he really, I guess McMahon really loves Brock Lesnar and probably the contract he's on. You know, it's, it's ridiculous. You need to defend it more often. You need to defend it once in a while on freaking Raw. But when he's on Raw, Paul Heyman does the talking and he don't defend it, you know? Defend it for crying out loud. People love to see Brock Lesnar takes his opponents to Sioux Plex City. 
So I don't know what kind of opponent he's gonna have at the Rumble. If it's not Finn Balor, who is his next opponent? Is it gonna be Roman Reigns? And they're gonna keep pushing him back. And is it not gonna happen at WrestleMania? Is it gonna be like um, Kane? You know, he just came back recently. I don't know. Nothing is really confirmed. So I guess right now, in my eyes, you guys can read the article. Finn Balor is on a back burn right now until they get this thing situation. It's too much backstage drama, you know? Finn Balor is a full-time wrestler. Brock Lesnar is a part-time wrestler. He's like a special attraction. Now, you see a special attraction, give him the belt off his damn waist. He don't need the belt. I mentioned it before. I'm going to say it again like a broken record. You got a lot of guys on Raw. I know a lot of guys won't draw. Probably that's why they give Lesnar the belt into, you know, since Mania of last year or this year. So I don't know why they do it. Whatever. They do some stupid things. Especially for Raw. You know, I could complain all I want, but does it do any good for the product? Hell no. Do you think they listen to these? The staff? No. They got more important things to worry about. So probably that's why they worry about who can draw the most. Is it Lesnar? Is it Roman Reigns? Dean Ambrose? Seth Rollins? You know what? I don't mind giving it to Kurt Angle. He's there every day. Give him the damn belt. We like to see Kurt Angle versus Brock Lesnar. I know we saw that match before, but probably Brock Lesnar would destroy um, Kurt, Kurt Angle because Kurt Angle has not wrestled in 11 years. Yes, I know he, he wrestled this past Sunday, but it was just an emergency. He was not really into... I mean, he was in shape, but you know what I'm saying? I cannot really explain it. I'm doing the best that I can. Like I said earlier in this discussion, so I want to see a match that had never been done before. You know, something fresh. But it's very hard with the guy from Raw or SmackDown Live. While we can get a guy from NXT on this special um, attraction at the Royal Rumble, most likely, um, if that did happen, Lesnar will retain it like that. Or it might be a 360, why not, like a 180. Like, I'll give you a quick example. I know this had nothing to do with this match. When Paige made a shocking debut on a Raw roster, they could do the same thing from NXT to the main roster um, at the Royal Rumble. Lesnar can have a mystery opponent. How about that? You know, that'd be pretty um, awesome. Everyone will talk about that. Would you guys like that? A mystery opponent? We prefer Finn Balor. Okay, everyone, have a good one. This is your friend here, Team R. Right. If you like this discussion, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like this discussion, I understand it. Uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Hit that notification. And you'll know when my next upload. Have a good one. This is your host here. Once again, it is Team R. Right. Sign off. Later. Everyone out there who is listening.